All right, well, let's get started, shall we? Uh, we are going to be looking at CatLab 14. And we should be able to get through it rather painlessly, I believe. So I'm going to share my screen. Then I have to keep a few of you late to talk about some stuff. But. All right. What is it doing? Okay, is my sh screen shared or not? Yes? Okay, everybody can see the screen okay? All right. All right, so Cat Lab 14. Okay, what's the function of a vein? To move your blood. Which In which direction? That's a good question. That is a good question. Oh my gosh, so technologically stupid. All right. Why can I not type? idea. Okay. Uh, let me make a copy of it. Maybe. I don't know. For some reason. It's not letting me type on that. Okay. Just joining us. We're going through cat lab 14. I'm just, you know, being normal and having difficulties. Okay, function of the vein. Uh, it, we know it transfers blood. blood, but in a, a specific direction. So does it carry it away from the heart or towards the heart? Is it away from the heart? It or is. Okay, your thymus gland should already be removed. Uh, but remove it, pericardium, if you haven't already. Function of the pericardium. There's about three functions of the pericardium. Um, it's a barrier of infection. It uh, protects the heart. And it also is there to like reduce friction between the heart and the organs around it. I, uh, three disorders of the pericardium and briefly explain them. So we know, first of all, I mean, anytime we have like swelling, okay, we can have pericarditis. I, in your research, you'll probably list one as maybe even acute pericarditis. And then you can find a third one and then just explain basically what each of them are. Uh, difference between structure of an artery and a vein. They all have the same layers. But we know veins are what? Are they thicker or thinner than an artery? Got a 50 50. Go with thinner. Yes. There's less muscle tissue in a vein. Right. The other difference is uh, veins, at least the you know medium to bigger veins, have. Um, like a valve inside. Whoop. 
So that way, once a you know once the contraction pushes the the blood closer to the heart, it can't backflow. It can't go the other way. So veins have valves inside to prevent backflow. Keep the keep the blood moving in the same direction. All right. Uh, when comparing arteries and veins, which are closer to the outside? Well, veins are. And I listed the three layers for you too. They have some different names, so go by those names. Those are the three main layers. Got those? Okay, good to move on. Okay, all arteries, um, and then change this on your lab. Your lab says, says all arteries carry blood away from the heart, um, which they do. They all carry blood away from the heart. Um, all arteries carry oxygenated blood is what my point was. And the only one that doesn't is the one that has to go to our lungs. So that's the what? I put main. Oh, well, that's wrong. Pulmonary? Pulmonary. Okay, difference between white blood cell, red blood cells function. We know white blood cells are there to fight infection. What do red blood cells do? Uh, they carry blood or carry oxygen. They aren't. White blood cells fight infection, the red blood cells carry oxygen. Okay, uh, I put this in here. White blood cells are made by the both the marrow, the spleen, and the lymph nodes. Red blood cells are made basically by the red bone marrow. If I'm going too fast, just yell at me. Okay, on average, how long does it take a red blood cell that's pumped out of the heart to make a full journey and return to the heart? About 20 seconds. Um, our entire volume of blood can make the round trip in about a minute. Okay, uh, varicose veins. I'm gonna have to write a report, but what are varicose veins? They're like twisted, swollen veins that you okay. can get in your legs and feet. Yes. I, there's a lot of people that are afflicted, especially when you get older with varicose veins. Um, so two paragraphs on basically what they are, how they form, and what you can do to prevent varicose veins. And then once you have varicose veins, is there anything you can do to get the veins back to normal so they don't show up? Okay, um, and then a uh, four sentences on just bed sores. Common disorder among hospitalized people are those confined to a wheelchair or bed sores. So if you're confined to a wheelchair or a hospital bed, someone has to move you. Right? 
once in a while. Don't want the buildup of blood in a certain area. All right, the major veins leading out of the heart. First of all, the anterior vena cava or superior vena cava. This carries blood back to the heart, empties into what chamber? Anybody? Oh, the, the right side of the heart. Okay, it is the right side, so it's the right what? Atria or the ventricle? Ventricle? Try again. Oh, I can't pronounce the word. <laughs> Atria or atrium? Hey, the posterior vena cava or the inferior vena cava. Hey, this returns blood from the lower parts of the body. You can either fill in the word lower or highlight lower. Hey. And that leads into what chamber of the heart? The right ventricle. The right. Ventricle. Try again. Atrium. Yep. All right, so both the anterior and the posterior join together right before they lead into the right atria. All blood returns from either the head area or the body area into our right atria. Okay, the innominate vein, it's also called the brachiocephalic. Cephalic. Right, jugular, we've seen those when we were dissecting the um, muscle system, so the jugular veins, major veins in what area? Where do we see jugular veins? The neck. In the neck. Okay, right and left subclavians, they lead to the left and the right. What Cla extremity? Clavicle? I can't hear you. Clavicle? Clavicle or arm area, shoulder area, yeah. Okay, moving on. Okay, the internal mammary vein directs towards the front. What do we call the front side? Ventral. 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 Vertebral directs towards the back or the? Dorsal. Dorsal. So these are all veins. So it's gonna bring oxygen, is it poor or rich blood back to the heart? Oxygen poor, oxygen rich. It's oxygen poor. It is oxygen poor. Right? It's going to return back to the heart so the heart can do its job and get us some oxygen in there. Okay, adrenal lumbar. Right? Uh, has anybody watched the video? Anybody know that answer? I couldn't find the video. Did you post it on Classroom or was it just the link? I think I posted it. Okay, because I, could, I, I also could, have an email. I couldn't find it for some reason. Darn. Starts with a K. The kidney? Yep. Oh, I said that when them two were arguing. Nice job. You just have to talk louder. I don't believe you. I don't talk over arguing people. Oh, I see. Okay, renal, uh, you will have to remove some of the fat surrounding the kidneys. Uh, what is adipose tissue? It's fat tissue. It is fat tissue. Okay, and why are the kidneys so covered in fat? Uh, it's used to protect them. Yes. Okay, the iliolumbar, so we're, we're really we're following the posterior vena cava down as it branches out. So it branches out into the adrenal lumbar, then the renal, then the iliolumbar. Um, what is that, unscramble that word, 
Oh, why, wow. Spell, spell is going to do it for me? Yeah, well, that's right. It drains the small of the back. back. Okay. What is the small of the back? It's just the lowest part of the back. Okay. It's where it uh, curves inward, right? Right before you, it goes to your, like, to your butt. The derriere. Yep. Okay, the common iliac. This is formed when the posterior vena cava finally splits apart. These will branch to the legs and finally the... Femoral veins. Yep. Okay, um, and then the last part is to go to class kick. So go ahead and go there now. I know some of you have done this, and most of you haven't, but go to class kick. I'll do it here also. So you're looking for heart coloring vein diagram assignment. There's two slides for you to complete. First one's pretty easy, at least it should be. I use the words red or blue in each box to indicate oxygen rich or oxygen poor blood. So what you'll do here is just, you know, type in red or blue in each box. It should be about half and half. Oh my gosh. Stop doing it. All right, so like that is the aorta. Okay, so I don't want to edit the assignment. I mean, it's... Any questions on this on this slide? I really can't show you. Mine just says it's loading. Like, it's not actually letting me in. Really? Yeah. I don't know, I'll try it later. Hey, Mine just second, opened right up into it. Okay. The second page is just uh, drag and drop. Now, when I made these boxes, I forgot one, so you'll have to like look at the one of them is going to go here also. So just drag the right ones into the right boxes. The one you drag here is the one that we said directed dorsally. This one is the one that directs ventrally. Okay. You don't have to do anything really with these diagrams once you complete them because I can just create them on class quick or class kick. Uh, you don't actually have to insert anything into the lab. But your completion of these diagrams will be part of your grade on lab 14. Questions? I don't remember going over one of these. Are we just going to have to look it up or? Uh, which ones? The as... Azygus? Yeah, that one. You'll see it from the video. I pointed out in the video, so you should notice it from there. Okay. And were you able to check, is the lab video on Google Classroom? Um, let me check real quick. And it might have been that the other one that said CalLab 14 wasn't loading the video. Oh, okay. So that might have just been it. They're right by each other. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. It loaded now. Okay. All right. Um, 
the rest of this time that uh, we have together, I'm going to let some of you go, but I'm going to keep some of you. So those that I want to keep right now, unless you guys have questions or anything. I take that as a no. So um, those of you that are staying, uh, Austin, Michael, Jesse, Kaylee, Drake, Jenna, Justin, Emma, Cadence, right? And if I didn't say your name, then, you know, that's uh, all I need from you today. Just keep up the good work. I am a good student. Yeah, I you're do, a rock star. I do my homework. Okay, um, Kaylee, Drake, and Jenna. Won't take long. I don't need you for a long time, but I do need you to look at Cat Lab 11 right this second. I'm Ultrasound. Huh? Ultrasound paragraph thing. Yeah. I, I, know, know, I, I found a website, though. I, can't, I just found a website. I can't keep begging you to get this done. It's like, my goodness, you guys. I look at it every day, and I'm getting tired of looking at your incomplete labs. So Jesse, Kaylee, and Drake, you all have to do that part on the Lab 11. All right. Jenna? Look at lab 12, like right now. So those of you working on lab 11 with the, especially with the uh, ultrasound, you have to find research. Kaylee, Kaylee, especially you. You can't just leave that one thing. There is no research. I'm and then reject the submission and send it in again, hoping no. I'll grade it this time. Is that what you keep doing? No. Maybe I'll just give up, like wanting you to do the research and like put a grade on it so you can go on with your life. It's not happening. So. Look for childhood leukemia and ultrasounds. There is research. Such a brat. Yikes. <laughs> okay. Um, Michael. Cat Lab 11. You have lots to do still on Cat Lab 11. And then you haven't taken the quiz on Explore Learning. Austin, can you go to Explore Learning real quick so we can get you to create an account? Uh -huh. Go to explorelearning.com. Drake, when you sign off of here, I want to make sure your Lab 11 is done. Kaylee, same goes for you. Wait, so you want me to write it right now? Yes. Oh. I don't, uh, I forgot my school email. You forgot your school email? I don't want to talk about it. Is that why you're not getting any, like you don't respond to any of my messages? <laughs> yep, that's exactly why. Okay. So your email address is adams.austin at hamptonhawks.us. I did it backwards. Okay. Um, Justin, yeah. right now you're two behind, right? You got everything done through 11, but 12 and 13 you have to finish. Correct. So you should start working on 12 so I can see some progress like, you know, here in about 10 minutes. Do I have to check that I'm 18 years of age or older? Okay. So you're on Explore Learning? Yeah. Okay. You should see a button that says um, like enroll or enroll in a class. Oh, I definitely did not click that. Uh, there's request info. 
okay. and deploy the library. That's about it. Or sign up for free. Okay. Um, when you go there, isn't there a login and roll button? No. There's sign up for free. That's, that's it. Okay. All right. Hold on. I'm going to share my screen with you because this is what I've seen. So you have this, right? It says sign up for free? Yeah. Okay, but up here, don't you have something that says log in and roll? Oh, uh, maybe. Oh, yeah, I had to make it full screen. Okay, so log in and enroll, and then the enrollment code. is is right there do you see it oh yeah okay so enter that code now we don't have much time left right we have i mean as far as the school year goes, you don't have much time. You can't keep behind. Kaylee, did you write your paper now? I seriously, I Googled the child thing and there's okay. literally nothing. In your search bar, use quotation marks. In quotation marks, put childhood leukemia, end of quotation marks. Then caps lock and A and D. Then quotation marks, ultrasound, end of quotation marks, and search. If you don't use quotation marks sometimes in your searches, then it's just going to look at your first word and you know, you're not going to get the results you want. So. so you want articles matching childhood leukemia with ultrasounds attached to it. And when you get a link, actually click on the link. Don't just read the little description. I'm reading it. Yeah, yeah. All right, Austin, did you make an account? Yeah. Okay, so um, Michael. Michael, you still here? Yes. Okay. Um, can you go to Explore Learning? I'm already in. Okay. So launch your gizmo, scroll down, and do the five multiple choice questions. Okay, Austin, you should be in the class. So the worksheet that's on Google Classroom. You use that worksheet to, and you use the gizmo to fill out that worksheet. And then if you click launch and scroll down, there's five questions there that counts as a quiz grade. I just realized I was on mute that whole time trying to talk to you. Oh. Kaylee, any luck? I'm reading. Oh. There's big words in this. I know. There is really big words. You can search for the Dr. Seuss version. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop sharing. I got my first paragraph done, and now I don't know what to talk about in my second paragraph. Okay, what? which one are you doing, the, the ultrasounds one? Yeah. Okay, so what did you find out? I found out that, like, there is some tie to it, and but it's, it's not during the pregnancy. It happens, like, later. Right, it happens to the 
the baby that was actually being seen by the ultrasounds, right? Yeah. Okay. So you can just, you know, your second paragraph, you could talk about like your opinion. Do you think that this needs more research or is this a fluke in your opinion? Right. I mean, ultrasounds have been around for a long time. Mr. Richards, what yes. is that, which lab is that paragraph on? The one with the, the childhood leukemia? That one is lab 11. The only one I'm finding is the ultrasounds cause lung cancer. I don't have any childhood right. cancer. Right, so in your search bar, you have to really be specific on what you want to search for. So in your search bar, put quotation marks and put childhood leukemia. I have that. I just, I didn't know if that was the same thing as the lung cancer. Okay. Are you, are you trying to write the one with ultrasounds causing cancer or you? Yes. Okay. So it says have... ultrasounds cause lung cancer. Okay. So you can write about them causing lung cancer. I, I don't know if there's much research on that, but there is research on ultrasounds causing childhood leukemia. Okay, because it talks about research the truth in the statement. So that's why I was very confused. Do I have something different than everybody else? Are you looking at CatLab 11? Yes, I am. Okay. It says there's currently a debate, or is there, about the use of ultrasounds. What are ultrasounds used for? Mm -hmm. Research the amount of truth in the statement. Ultrasounds cause lung cancer. Okay. This paper should be a minimum of two paragraphs. Okay. So if it's causing childhood leukemia, right, through the process of metastasis, then it can actually lead to lung cancer. So okay. I just was really tired of reading, like, you know, some of your classmates' papers on one sentence that just said, there is no research, period. Okay. Okay, Michael, so you have, uh, you know what you need to do, right? Cat level 11, 12, and 13 to catch up, right? And 14 yep. students. Okay, so, but every time we visit, you say you're going to get it done, and then I look back and give you a couple days, and then you didn't do anything. I see I'm trying to do other work, too, and it's not good. Then. Well, then don't tell me you're going to do my work if you're not going to do my work. Well, because I plan on doing it, and then my mom goes, you need to work on this. I go, okay, so I work on that. So what are you working on right now? I mean, today I was going to work on your stuff. I was going to try to. Not today. What are you working on right this second? I just did the five-question thing. Okay. How did you do? Did it give you your score? Did you do good? Did you do poor? Hmm. Because if you got lower than a 60, I need to reset it. So, but even a 60 will be better than like a missing grade that's in there now. Yeah, you need to reset it. Okay. Mr. Richards, I got my thing done. Can I leave? Yeah, I just got done too. Hey, are you, are you pulling my leg again or is it actually done? No, this I'm actually done. Here, I'll turn it in really fast. I haven't turned turn it, it in. Kaylee, turn it in. I'm turning it in. How about that lab 14? Is that done, Kaylee? It's due today. Oh, yeah, it's done. I was like, what? You already wrote your papers for it? Yeah. You didn't say there is no research, right? I actually wrote papers. All okay, right, good job. Hey, Cadence, how are we doing? Her microphone doesn't work. Oh, okay. She can probably chat, though. I have no idea. She just needs to learn sign language. <laughs> how are you? I think I think that needs to go both ways for it to work. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Jenna, gonna catch up. What do you mean? Why are you here right now? Because I was missing a paragraph. On okay. Get, Lab Twelve. Get your paragraph done. Huh? Huh? I got it done. You, you have did? to check it. Okay. So now Cat Lab Fourteen is due today. That's done. Yay. Okay, don't forget about the class kick thing and get that done also. Okay.
Mr. Richards. You can, yeah. I was reading one of the websites, and it was uh, Patrick Leukemius, uh -huh. Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Well, I read Children's Hospital of Pedophilia and was like, <laughs> wait a second, what? Well, that's a scary situation. That's not sure, like just my leave. Yes, Drake. All right, have a good I'm day. I'm so done with this day, Mr. Richards. Already? <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. I'm just done with quarantine, so. Uh, we're almost out of the woods. You'll be fine. I think, I don't, I don't know if my family can last another two weeks. <laughs> we might actually kill somebody. <laughs> Just spend a lot of time outside. Well, you know, with the baby llama, that's kind of what we are doing. So what did you need from me, Mr. Richards? Because you never told me. You I just kind of said my name. Oh. You, you, just, you just said my name, and I've been sitting here ever since waiting patiently. Oh, sorry. All right, Emma. I know I've got some paragraphs. I'm working on one right now. Yeah. Uh, it looks like Cat Lab 12 and 13. Because right. <laughs> those were due last week, Emma. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. So you have all this free time. You should be able to get it done. <laughs> huh. It's not like I don't have two, mo two more classes today or anything. Free time? We have all this free time, Mr. Richards? Don't you? Alex? What's that? I don't know what that is. <laughs> How do you spend your day? Uh, mostly working on homework. Oh, uh, you know that's not true. No, I'm being completely serious because I fell time, behind the time, first week. What time do you wake up in the morning? I wake up normally around 7.45, and I come downstairs, I take my medicine, and then I start on homework. I don't even eat breakfast. Okay. And then I'm pretty much working on homework all day until I have classes, which then adds more homework to what I'm working on because I fell behind within the first week of online school. So I'm continuously trying to catch up. Well, I'm sorry. But I think you have enough time. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I also work too, so. Well, let's see. Okay. All right, so I would like to look back at this stuff like later on today and see that it's like, you know, progressing. If, number, I'm gonna, I'm, if not, I'm going to keep you for a full hour, and you all are going to have to go an extra week after May 8th. Mr. Richards, did you get all the cat labs I turned in? I uh, turned yeah, I think you're caught up to point. Let's see. Um, I'm, I think 14 was the last one. No, I don't think you're that far. Okay, um, I've gotten, let's see, six, seven um eight i think you forgot to write a paragraph on eight okay and then you have to take the knee quiz on quia okay and the secret word on the knee quiz is knee okay and then you got registered for your gizmo so you have to do that lab on the cell division and take and did you do that quiz already no okay so do that lab and do the quiz um and then, yeah, you got lab 10 and 11 done. Okay. So it's just like a paragraph on eight, a paragraph on nine, I think. And then you're on like cat lab 12. Okay. So thank you for getting some done. You're welcome. All right, guys. Wait, why is Cadence here? You never told her what she didn't have done. Oh, hi, Cadence. <laughs> okay, so you're working on paragraphs, right? Okay, yeah, I got your text. So yeah, finish up, make sure you get, you know, the paragraphs on 12 and also on 13, Cadence. So finish up 12 and 13 and then 14 is due today. Yes? Mr. Richards, I have a question. Yes, Michael. So, uh, well, two things. 
Um, the class code for class kick, it kicked me out, so like I can't get back in, and I don't remember the code. Can you tell me so I can write it down? Yes. So each assignment on class kick is, I think, going to give you if, to a different assignment. So you can I go, Mr. Richards? Yes. All right. Bye. Bye. So which one are you looking to do, Michael? Um, the thing for which one was it? For fourteen, the one we were looking at today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I'm just trying to get it, get back in, because like it kicked me out. Oh, they refreshed the page and I just didn't save the class code or whatever. Yeah. Mr. Uh, Richards, am I good to go? Yeah, just keep plugging away, okay? Okay, because I'm pretty sure I had algebra 10 minutes ago. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I don't really care. All right, bye. <laughs> I do. Um, all right, Michael, the heart coloring thing is 699, capital S, capital H, capital R. <laughs> capital what, sorry? Capital H, capital, sorry. Okay, so 699, capital S, capital H, capital R. All right, Cadence. Jesse, things going okay then? You gonna get that stuff done in all your extra time? <laughs> all right. Michael, did you get in? Yeah, I did. Okay, get that done then. Yeah, no, don't just say it because I'm I'm afraid oh. that after I sign off, you'll get nothing done. I'll look no, at I'm it this not. afternoon and it's like, you didn't do anything. I will. I have to go eat lunch and then, because my lunch is going to be here soon. All right. Over by Miss Lewis and then I will. All right, go eat lunch. All right, bye guys. So long.